Hi, it's uh, David from uh, Sail Tahiti. I'm a board catafjord, which is a crother design, a 63 footer catamaran, which is pretty amazing. I'm gonna do a quick tour for you to understand how much space she offers. So we've got this uh, very, very large uh, living space outdoor. Uh, you can see you can have dinner with uh, many people here, uh, fully protected. Uh, very very nice and then coming up there we've got the helm station uh, which is you can see that's a proper boat uh, fully protected all weather helm station coming down from the helm station um, we get inside uh, the saloon you're gonna be amazed by the space this boat has look oh, it's like a proper holiday house um, so first you've got this kitchen um, looks like a kitchen in your house or uh, in a restaurant indeed uh, and then all this uh, round space which is pretty amazing so I'm on the starboard side now showing you here we've got uh, the water maker in uh, the radio uh, then moving on here we've got a guest cabin uh, that's also a storage place for safety equipment and pharmacy um, then uh, another uh, guest cabin here uh, with a small uh, bathroom and a double bed. Uh, you then have this huge chart table, um, enough space to store proper paper chart, a big uh, screen here, you can see, and then the Iridium sat phone, uh, several VHF. Uh, here's the electricity for the boat so you can see it's, it's very clear it's all been redone um, we've got a, a piano if you want to train with your kids uh, do a little bit of music and then looking the other direction uh, this is the main uh, saloon table um, then the kitchen uh, and you can see that you can enter or exit the boat from both sides of the kitchen so fantastic circulation um, just to show you I'm going outside now and you can see what the circulation is like. So you've seen how much space there's uh, inside the, the saloon and outside on the cockpit. I'm going to go down in the hall now to uh, show, show you how they are organized. Um, because it's a performance cut, the hulls are pretty narrow, but given it's a six three, three footer, uh, you do get a huge amount of space and what's important is you can also customize it as you want there are six uh, cross beams uh, all carbon giving a lot of rigidity to the boat so that means also that inside you can move panels wherever you want um, if you want to change the layout that's very easy to do but i do find it pretty nice um, the two hulls are not symmetrical inside uh, you'll see a slightly different uh, layout so let's go in there so we're going down now on the port side hull. Let me show you. It's a nice clean bathroom. Oh. Then you've got um, this master cabin uh, with its own um, cabinet uh, ensuite. Uh, office space here. Uh, you can see one of the owners is, is a Navy officer. There's a, a proper uh, sextant if you're interested. Uh, and then that very nice space for a couple uh, very light you see there's a window here uh, if you open that curtain then that's there's more storage going the other way uh, we've got this office space and a uh, cabinet uh, then we've got the shower and, uh, and toilet area uh, and then we've got um, the laundry space with uh, this laundry machine and then you've got a, a cabin uh, that's been uh, let out for three little kids so you see there's actually a double bed and then a single bed on top um, it's very airy you can see all these uh, windows so you get a nice airflow uh, and lots of light so we're uh, coming up from the port hall and we're gonna cross this huge saloon uh, and go down in the starboard hull, which has a, a slightly different layout. I let you choose which one you prefer. Uh, so in that side, uh, the main cabin is here. You see, it's very roomy. 
you may have noticed that um, there's a bulkhead here which you don't find uh, on the other side and behind that bulkhead is a workshop with uh, plenty of tools so the boat is actually completely self-sufficient uh, i show you this cabin because it's, it's really nice nicely made very clean uh, and then uh, the bathroom from the starboard side another uh, kind of office uh, slash sort of storage space you can see it's very very nice very light very airy or in the full sun middle of the day but i'm not even sweating here there's so much air flowing through the boat uh, and a kid's cabin with uh, two bunk beds they're actually two meters long so adults could uh, sleep here uh, or you can make another arrangement obviously it's very easy to do and if you look we've got access to the cockpit here.